boy. So, I don't think anyone really does this. How about we start it now? And end of season review. Let's get right into it. Let's start with what was anticipated and what was going to be provided this season. So, we had already um, been made aware uh, because of game files that Rampart was going to be able to pick up her turn and she was getting a rework, blah, blah, blah. But if you think about what happened before that, we were supposed to get ranked arenas. And I think that was the season, right? Ranked arenas? And it literally just didn't work. The system was and still is completely broken. Um, I hit Diamond 3 first split. And then after the first split, I literally haven't played at all. Like, I stopped pushing. I don't know why. I, at first, I was going to push the Masters, but then I was just like, you know what? This is not worth pushing the Masters. I heard that it could take you hundreds of hours to hit Masters. And people were going up by, like, 27, 12. The system was just broken, and the respawn developers were tweeting out that it was going to get fixed or that they were trying to fix it and they knew it was broken oh they're bad uh, but for weeks it was still broken so that's typical uh, respawn right there ranked arenas is the first thing this season that had went wrong so eventually the 10.4 patch or something like that the the rampart sheila pickup uh <laughs> update were patch and basically we thought that this patch was gonna this is just gonna come in you know quick little update but no this changed apex legends forever after they added that patch the game legitimately broke and for about four or five weeks the the game was actually broken for a vast majority of the player base it was they say that it was a banner glitch but honestly, it wasn't a banner glitch. Literally, you could get disconnected without a animated banner. Like, everyone says, okay, take off your animated banners. If you take off your animated banners and you still get disconnected. They said it worked. It lowers the chances. Lowering the chances isn't fixing the servers. That's all I want to say about that part. And then, also, just how does adding an update break the game? I really hate the fact that Respawn is never really, like, ready, or they're never, they, they don't respond quickly. It's like, they just release the game without having had tested it or anything. It's, it's honestly, it gets tiring, and my uh, enjoyment and my love for Apex Legends is slowly diminishing. Because every season, it seems like there's just some new bullshit. And it's actually not in your control. So it's like, why would you want to play the game that doesn't even play out the way that it's supposed to be? Because of just random, uncontrollable circumstances. For example, if you were pushing ranked during that time when you could get disconnected. Um, say you were... Uh, disconnected and then you reconnect to your ranked game and you come back only to find out that there's only one teammate alive and he's like riding it out already so i'm just i'm just hoping that season 11 we don't have to wait four or five weeks to actually be able to enjoy the season but you never know it's respawn so i wouldn't have my fingers crossed this season, we got to see It's Timmy, our, our our papa, the current king of Apex, I'd say. We got to see him competing, and it's not as if he hasn't competed before. It's just, I think that he's getting more into the scene. So I wonder if in season 11, we'll see him competing some more. Also, speaking of It's Timmy, this season, I started a campaign to get that man to 1v1 me. So, that's going on right now. Um, they added a lot of weapons 
well not a lot of weapons they just changed a lot of weapons so i'm not going to go over weapon changes i think maybe legend balances but overall i'd say this season season 10 was it, it it had its intentions in the right place but the execution was atrocious and uh i don't know it just really highlights the fact that the developers seem to not have control or have an idea of where they want to drive this game there's a saying in the apex community that the the player base has coined and it's that for every one step in the right direction they take two steps back uh, for example let's just talk about balance changes so look at wraith wraith has been changed so often like not even a massive major rework just little tweaks and fixes now while focusing on wraith they completely neglected characters like crypto and rampart who were dog shit for the longest time and crypto still is but it, for how many seasons were players saying, uh, developers, if you um, uh, want to make Rampart playable or, or up her pick rate, um, just allow us to pick up Sheila. And how many seasons later do they add that in as if it's just some major idea that, that one of the developers had came up with? Uh, like, it just takes so long for them to act. It's like they really don't care. Honestly, Apex Legends is a major, a major letdown most of the time. I'm hoping Season 11 is going to be epic. We got a new map, a new character. The only thing that could make it go wrong is server issues. Anyway, leave a like and subscribe for more amazing content. This is my Twitch and um instagram and twitter yeah if you guys have social media if you're active on social media go check that stuff out